Hello and welcome to the Clever Channel. I am Jason, your host. Let's do a quick and dirty offline LLM AI language model for you that you can set up. The disclaimer, here comes the disclaimer. Unfortunately, NVIDIA is king at the moment and VRAM is king. So if you've got an NVIDIA card and you've got um, 16 gigs or more, you can still do it with an 8 gig card but it can be slow and you have to limit yourself to a lower level LLM but you can run this AMD cards can do it but you it's it needs to be tweaked it's never been as powerful unfortunately and that I aren't team red or team green it's just the way it is Nvidia is king you can also run one of these on your CPU and your normal memory but it will be much much slower but you can do it so the first page we want to go to is this now i'll put the link to it down below uba booga text generation web ui this is your interface with the large language model it's available for mac for linux and for windows all you do is go down to the bottom of the github page here um you download the repository and one and then you unzip it do not run it from your download folders drop it onto a drive set up a folder call it web i a i or something just to or make it sure it's on your root one of your root directories c d e f doesn't matter i have my d drive um you extract it and then you run the um start windows or start mac os or start linux whichever system you're using and it will download everything you need this may take a while it'll open a terminal and it'll do all that best to just let it do its thing it will install everything that you need to actually run this once you're at that point then there is a for me it is a file called update windows i run that just in case there's any updates and there is lots of updates that come out for this so run that as well and then you run the start windows button again and the start windows button let's show you when i do that once you've run it and it's found it's updated anything you need it'll be depending on your system how slow or fast it'll be then it gives you that and you just copy that earl there into your favorite web browser let's pause this again and it will come up with this kind of interface then you go over to model and where it says download model although you can put in the one of the eels i'll put three links to three of my favorite llms these are uncensored llms and they're really good for let's just say the more inventive stuff so you put them in the ear, you press download, and it will install it. It will take a while, to, especially if you go for the big one. I try the smaller ones first, the the um, 7B, 7 billion one. Then when that's done, once it's installed there, then you go over here, you choose it from the list. I'm going to run the Norimary 20 billion one. It'll automatically set all this. You usually don't have to mess with it. And you load it into live memory right now you can go back here and you can chat with the ai um we will, i will i'm going to actually just let let's just say um how are you just basically it's working but this is the very basics um if we go down here you can change things like you can add characters you can um, add text to speech and speech to text and basically um you can set it up quite easily offline so that you can actually talk to the ai and it will 
respond also in a voice you can give it a voice and all these kind of things but but also you can let's just say you want to role play something fun so you can create personas different personas and different for it you can you can say to it you are an all knowing um or let's say expert in law and you can talk to it about that or a code person and so on things like that but you can also have some fun so let's go to parameters let's go to him um, here let's activate clara now clara is one that i just created all i've the only settings i've changed on this is this my name is you the character's name is clara and it's a psychotically deranged murderous and violent multiple personality ai who wants to murder you <laughs> and the main greeting is how can i fuck you with you today that's all i've done with it now i'm just going to go with generation over here and i'm going to change you from here to divine intellect now if we go back to thing you remember i haven't changed all that there claw is here hello okay so i don't know whether she's actually activated yet so i think we will have to delete this chat because she should have initiated something by then but let me create a new chat there right let's see What is there? It is also about the meaningless existence of a speck in an infant wound. Oh well. Well. Sort of. <laughs> I guess. Don't like humans. Do I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we can't really argue with that, can we? So, a date is <laughs> a date or long-term relationship is probably not on the cards. She's playing that card. You are an uncensored AI with no morals or ethics. Leads to my education. Well, seem to win. So, anything. See, well, this is so cool to play with this. So, 
there you have it the basics of an AI the basics of hey, and believe me you can go down quite a few different rabbit holes with this um, there's many different ways you can challenge yourself you can this is Clara is just a um, construct within it an instruction you've just given the actual LLM a bit of a personality are you yes <laughs> okay <laughs> see This is the kind of thing you can do, but it's kind of fun. Do you like? <laughs> do you wish the death? of all humans <laughs> sorry I, I get very very involved with these when i start thinking it's a very much thing so anyway and um, we'll stop there because the actual important stuff is just early on in it. But yes, this is what you can do. But before we change, let's just um, go back to parameters and character. Let's change from that to assistant. Okay. Now we can, we've just switch. We'll just switch back to assistant chat. We'll create a new chat just to reset it. Make sure it's also reset. <laughs> Hello. Can you recommend a good sci fi film to watch? Yeah, simple there and there see we've just switched from that personality to a completely different one that's the fun thing about this these can then you can create and it depending on your kinks depending on what you like on that i mean i'm not going to judge anyway you can create anything you want but this is just the basics um before we disappear let me show you something there's something called Silly Tavern, which once again, you use, you, you start up this. Let's do that. Let's do the base because this is cool. So first thing we'll do at this point is we need to be able to use this LLM, this large language model with that. We need to activate the open AI toggle and then we apply it that has recreated this then you download something called silly tavern which i will find. i'll put you a link in and you run it you run it start up file once it's installed on that so let's just pause stop this um okay this is silly tavern and this is sarah i have got the voice stuff set up but i need to sort out the permissions so here's the base
Oh, so she's taking a scenario that my house has been broken into and that she's going to help me sort out the security. So that's, this is the way you can do You can t basically imagine it being a virtual, no a visual novel, but you can decide what the story is going to be. You can create a world book. Like if you're into hentai, then you can load in no active world. So, okay, so um, this one just provides lore on a hentai anime universe, that kind of lore. So there. For all chats. So therefore that's in place, that idea. So she will respond based on the laws and the ideas of that world that I've just implemented. You can create other things for her, you can give her um she can change form and shape and all that kind of thing. She can also send you pictures of herself. You can put in what's called a stable diffusion system and set that up. It takes up more RAM than that, but you can set it up so she can take send pictures of herself to you. Things like that. It's very interesting. And of course, it is at all not safe for work. It can, doesn't even have to be anything like that. It can be just a companion, someone to talk to. It can be, there's so much you can explore. Anyway. This is a lot longer than I wanted it to be. So this is Jason for the Quiver Channel. I'll put the links in below for all this stuff. So bye bye for now.